Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Andrews from Search Minerals. How are you today, Greg? I'm very well. Thank you, Tracy. Greg, it's so exciting to have what is unquestionably, what, the next producer of rare earths in North America? Yeah, we want to be that next rare earth uh, producer for North America. We've uh, advanced with our, we just released our metallurgy report, which was very exciting and exceed our expectations. So Greg, we were just talking to Dr. David Dreisinger about your pilot plant operation, your rare earth oxide. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, we're really excited because we've been able to prove our, uh, the metallurgy from our ore sample from Foxtrot right to the end product, which is a high purity 99% mixed rare earth oxide. So the next steps for us is now taking it to the refineries and it opens up a whole new audience for us for strategic investors, investors, offtake agreement uh, partners. It's fantastic news for us. And of course, for those of you out there, you may not be familiar with Search Minerals and the fact that we actually have a upcoming producer of rare earths in North America. Can you give us a bit of an overview on the company? Yeah, our overview, we've been looking for rare earths since 2009 in uh, Southeast Labrador, Canada with a premier uh, deposit, Foxtrot deposit. And with that, we have a 70 kilometer by eight kilometer district. And in that, in the last few years, we've have two other prospects, which are very, we're very excited to uh, continue to explore also. And of course, Greg, we've been watching you for the last several years, and I've been trying to get you to do more PR, but you're like, wait, wait, wait. Are we ready to start telling more people about you? And what did you have to achieve to start feeling like you could really get out there and tell the story? Well, what we needed to achieve is that our metallurgy works. That's a very uh, difficult part of the rare earth industry business. So with that, with the success that we've had, we can now explore our other prospects that we uh, have in the area. And you also have uh, members of management and your board that have significant experience in this sector and a number of very humble members of your team. Can you tell us a, a little bit about your team? So we have David Dreising, our VP of Metallurgy, and, and he's, he's the one that it was, it's his conceptual idea that we went from bench scale to our, our plant. And what he's been able to do is reduce those processes of grinding, flotation, magnetic, and gravity separation, which has allowed us to be a low capital cost project of $152 million with a $33 million contingency, which we feel is what's needed to attract that investment. It's a, it's a scalable project so that we can get be at least first in. Well, I understand that this uh, technology process has been patented. Is this correct? It has been patented. And, and we're to ensure also, one of the reasons for patent is to ensure that we can use our patents on our own material, which is important in the patent process. And this will make you cost effective. And really, this makes you not just a clean tech story, but a technology story, too. Yes, it really is. And um, the the advantage of that is with our with our product now and having increased recoveries of ND and PR in, in our metallurgy testing has allowed us to you know, increase the economics of our project that we're looking forward to. And Dave also was able to reduce some reagent costs, which again, drive revenues up, lower the uh, expenses, and just improve the economics of the project. Well, in addition to this news, what should we anticipate as shareholders over the next couple of quarters? Well, we've, uh, we're in the process of our environmental uh, applications to the federal and provincial government, so we'll be getting that information back. Uh, the most intriguing part is we have Deepwater Fox as a prospect, which we've done a channel sample program on last year, which is very compelling. It has 15% higher grades than Foxtrot, so we waited for the metallurgy to prove that we could separate, and we figure it, we assume it's going to be the same footprint of the Foxtrot as a deep water. So with that confirmation, we'll test that and then perhaps do a drill program. We're looking to do a drill program to prove up our district with another resource. And of course, both Greg Andrews and Dr. David Dreisinger will be speaking and presenting at the Clean Tech and Technology Metal Summit May 15th and 16th. Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much.